If you are doing photography and you're not doing videos, I think you are really missing out. Videos bring your galleries to life. They boost engagement, help clients, relieve the moment and make your packages stand out. And right now is the perfect time to upgrade your client experience because PicTime is offering an incredible Black Friday promotion. You get 30% off all plans plus 200 free gallery migrations. But it's only available from November 20 to December 1st. So don't miss out. And even if you catch this video after the sale, you still get an extra free month if you use the link in the description of my video. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to add videos to your PicTime galleries and why it's the missing piece in your photography package. So let's get into it. All right, here I'm in PicTime and all I have to do now is I have to create a new client gallery. These are the galleries I already have and I'm gonna create a new one by clicking new client gallery. Let's name this gallery Safari. I want to create a gallery of some Safari photos. The gallery date, this is the date when the photos were taken. The language we can pick from different languages here. Let's keep it English and we can also select a cover photo. So let's upload a cover photo. I'm gonna use this photo as a cover and let's click on upload. And look at that, look how cool that looks. Now we can select a gallery cover. So basically this is the header part of your gallery. So this is the first thing people would see when they enter this gallery. We can change this. So when we scroll through these, we can pick different ones and there are a lot of ones available here. Let's do this one. I think I like this one most. We can also set a focal point to the first image. So if I click on focal point, let's say I wanna make sure the eye is the focal point here. It's gonna move this bit around so the eye is in the center. Then we have the colors here. We can change the colors if we want to change this. We can also go to the set and change this. But I think if we use the automatically choose cover color based on photo, it looks great. So I'm gonna keep these colors and then I'm gonna click on continue at the left side and then we can create different scenes. So let's say I was at the Safari and let's say I wanna have the day one photos as a scene named day one. I'm gonna create a scene named day one. If you take photos for a client, let's say for a wedding, you could do like different locations of the wedding and from these locations you can create scenes. So in this case, I have Safari photos and videos. I'm gonna name it day one because this was the first day at the Safari. Then I'm gonna click on upload photos and clips and here we can basically drag our photos or clips or we can just click on select files. Now I have these stock files and these are all from Safaris. So I'm gonna upload them all. So these are all the images that are being uploaded now. But we also want to upload videos. So let's make sure we also add videos. There are two types of videos that we can upload to PicTime that are short clips. Those are up to three minutes long and featured videos, which are 90 minutes long. So this could be like a whole video about a wedding or about a safari trip where you have like a whole long video. And these short clips could be behind the scenes clips, like maybe on your mobile phone you take these clips and you wanna put them all on your gallery just to make it more interactive. So I'm gonna click on photos and clips again and this time I'm gonna select my videos. So I have some videos here. I'm just gonna select them all and I'm gonna click on open. And now it's uploading these videos. The videos are done with uploading and let's have a look at our gallery. So here we can see the scene we created and we have 22 items in this gallery. When I click on view all, I can see my videos are added here. And what I could do now is I could take one video and I could drag it around. So let's say I want to have this video in between the photos. Then I will take another video and put it somewhere there. And this one could be somewhere there. And maybe this one here at the beginning. And that way you can really define where do you want to place each video in your gallery. So these are just short clips that could be up to three minutes long. If you have a longer video, you could do a featured video up to 90 minutes long. And that video would be at the top of your site, for instance, or actually gallery with a beautiful video that you created. Now let's go to the gallery setup. I'm going to click on continue. And here we have the settings for the gallery. We can make this gallery private or we can make it public. So if I disable the private gallery, everyone can see the gallery with the URL. If we make it private, only the ones that are invited could see it. There are some more settings here that you could go through. I'm not gonna go through them all because there's a lot of stuff that you could change. But for the featured video downloads, let's go to settings. 
if you want to sell your featured video, let's say you made a whole video for a client and you want to sell to the client, make sure you don't select allow free featured video downloads. That way you're making sure the client is not going to download the video without paying. But if you would like to sell your featured video, you could select that here, but you have to set up a price option for it. So if you select the price option, make sure you enable it in the price list. Let's close this for now. Another thing we could add to the gallery is a store. If you want to sell your prints separately, you could also enable online store. I have a full dedicated video on this feature. Make sure to check that out. I will put it in the description of the video so you can check that out, how you can fully set up your store to sell those prints to clients. Right now, I would like to have a look at my gallery. So let's click on preview gallery and let's have a look at the gallery we just created. There you have it. Here's the name of the gallery and this is the date of the photos. And then we scroll down. Here we can see all the photos and videos we just added. You can see the first video is playing now. Then we have here a video. And when we scroll down, we can see all the photos we added. And look how beautiful the gallery looks. And here is another video we just added. So that's basically all you have to do to create a beautiful gallery with photos and videos. And I'm pretty sure your clients are gonna love this, especially if you take behind the scenes videos of your customer, they're really gonna like these videos. If you do weddings, it's pretty cool to have some videos also. So make sure you implement video in your photography. QuickTime is running a promotion now, so make sure to check that out. I will put the link in the description of the video so you can check the promotion out and I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and catch you on the next one.